Hi guys, Molos here. Today's video, I'm doing a quick review of the Stanchart digital account, the one which is opened using the banking app. You don't need to go physically into the branch, you just uh, download the app, upload your documents, uh, and uh, fill in the requirements. They're going to send you a Visa ATM card, which are then going to use to activate your account once it's delivered to you. It takes about two, three days. So one of the things about this account is that uh, there are no monthly fees, there's no initial balance and no minimum balance. So you can basically uh, keep zero in the account, it will still keep going. The other thing I like about it is that you are able to send direct into any Airtel money or MTN money account uh, from straight from the bank account. It's almost instant. So this can save you quite a bit of time if you send a lot of uh, mobile money payments to anybody. You can also receive Airtel money and uh, MTN money direct into the account, but terms and conditions apply for that. So let me log in to my account and uh, show you. But before I do, if you just scroll down on the login page, this is where you are going to verify or register your account with your ATM card once it's received. Just go to the login page, scroll down and uh, follow these prompts. Then you'll be able to activate your account and start using both the card as well as the account. It's a relatively straightforward uh, process to activate your account with the ATM card that you're going to receive. But let me now log into the account and show you a few things about the account. So your login is going to be the same for the online banking and mobile app. When you log in, this is how it looks, the landing page. It's going to show you the type of account you have, the balance you have. If you click on this, it's going to show you all your recent transactions, your balance, as well as your account number. Your account number will show here, and if you click the drop-down arrow, if you have what other accounts they will show, there will be all your transactions. If you go up on my dashboard, this is the menus you are going to use. Uh, the credit cards will not work for you because uh, it's strictly for credit cards. Uh, here, under payments, under pay bills, this is the feature that I use the most, which is the one for sending to mobile money accounts. It's for buying talk time, paying utility bills, as well as mobile money. So this is where you're going to find those the menu option. Uh, what I recommend is you save your regular payments because uh, when they're saved and you're paying direct from the saved ones, you do not get the OTPs, those one-time passwords as you're sending. It can be quite inconveniencing if you are somewhere where you're unable to receive SMSs but you've got internet. So saving the beneficiaries beforehand so that you can save without receiving the OTPs will save you a lot of time and uh, reduce your stress. So sending to mobile money is really, really good. Then under service requests, this is where you're going to find a where to manage your debit card. So you, when you come here, it's going to show you the most popular service requests. If debit card is not there, you can simply scroll down. So once you scroll down under card management, that's where you're going to manage your debit cards or any other cards you have with Stanchart. You can uh, block the PIN, uh, reset the PIN, block the card, suspend the card. You can do everything and manage your card from here. So you have full control of your account. All in all, I have enjoyed using this uh, bank account. It works as advertised and it's quite a good account and it's cheap too. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll see you in the next